Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva to create slideshows that you can embed online or download to use as PowerPoint files. So let's take a look at how you can do this. One of the things I love about Canva is there are so many great templates for all kinds of projects, including presentations. And they're great for folks like me who maybe don't have the best sense of style or design when it comes to graphics. So I like to use Canva for this sort of thing. And in Canva, we're going to load here a whole bunch of different templates to pick from. So let's take a look at these templates. So we can see here on the left hand side, we have simple presentations, education presentations, all kinds of different things. Let's say I want to use this education presentation. And you'll see as I hover over it, there's 25 different templates within that presentation style. So let's select that one. And now I can pick one of the slides inside here. Maybe we'll just use this one. Now, I've loaded that up and obviously I'm going to want to change it because I do not work at Lake Dorian Summer Village School. And I'm not going to do the basics of being outdoors. So let's just click on it and we can ungroup things so we can edit these individually if we want to. Or I can go ahead and just click on it and delete an element and change it out and call it you know, my sample presentation. Of course, all the font styling tools you could ever need are available to you as well. Color, size, style spacing, capitalization, all of those are available to us. Just like you'd have in any other presentation tool. Now I'm going to pick a different one of these options over here. Maybe I want to use this one. Okay. So I'm going to add a new page and we'll use this template that I've selected. And you'll see there's a video option in there. Now that's a just a placeholder video and of course you could use it if you wanted to if you had but I'm not going to I'm going to instead put in my own video and I'm just going to delete these other elements I don't want those elements there you'll see on the left hand side I have a videos option now if you don't see the videos option click on the more button and you'll be able to open up some more options for yourself so I'm going to use YouTube here and you can do a search for a YouTube video maybe it'll call it greeting cards in Canva and there's the video from YouTube that I want to use and we'll see it's now centered on the screen click and drag and move it around to the place I want it to be in So now I have a couple of slides. Now, if I want to add more to these, I just keep hitting new page and keep adding more templates. If I wanted to use my own media, I can hit the upload button. And I can upload an image or video, and then I can put it on the page. Maybe I'll do a quick demo of that right here. Maybe I'll put in this silhouette of an elk. Put that on my page. Now I have all my slides here. When I'm ready to share these, of course, I can present this right from Canva itself by just hitting the present button up here. But I want to put it online. So I'm going to hit this share button. And I can send it out to other people to view it and edit. But from here, I can present it. You'll see I also have an option for a website, an embed code. If I hit that embed code, that'll render an embed code that I can then copy and paste and put into my blog post or my website. Yeah, maybe I want to put it here. Let's copy this one. So there's my embed code. Maybe I'm going to put it into, uh, let's put it into Blogger real quick. So I'll put it into Blogger. And we'll embed it right into a blog post. It'll automatically resize for me to the size that I needed it. In my 
blogger, blog post, editor. I switched over to HTML mode from the compose mode. And I'm just going to paste in that embed code that Canva provided. And we can publish it. Or in this case, I'm going to update this blog post. And we'll see what it looks like right here. There's my sample presentation embedded with Canva. The video will play directly inside that slideshow. And I'm good to go. Now, the last thing we're going to do with this is look at my sample presentation that I have created here. And we've just used the embed code option. But besides presenting, we also have this download as PowerPoint. So there's my PowerPoint. Okay. I'm going to select all three pages. I'm just going to download it into a PowerPoint file that I can then open, as you might expect, in PowerPoint. Now, the one thing to keep in mind if you download that in PowerPoint is that the YouTube embed doesn't play back. So just keep that in mind. And finally, while we're up here in this upper menu, besides the presentation, we have the option to have a standalone little website. We'll open that up and we'll see that my presentation is now in its own standalone URL where people can scroll through. So that can be a great way if you want students to just quickly make their presentations available online. Just have them click on that little option for a website and it renders it as a simple website. Very clean, easy to see website. So that's how you can create and share presentations by using Canva. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.